Hello middle school artists. This is a video going over the steps that we worked on in class today for a two point perspective city. If you weren't here, then this will be the first time you're seeing it and you can use it to get caught up with this. And if you were here and just want to review, that's what you can use it for. We are working on um, going for a city. This is an example of one that's not quite done, but started. And I will be sending you with this video, a link for the PowerPoint um, we saw with examples of cities that have been done in the past. So two point perspective means that there are two points um, perspective is what allows us to feel like we are being drawn into a picture. So it's what gives this form. It's what makes it look like these buildings are receding. And so to create the two point perspective, you need two vanishing points. And a vanishing point, just as a reminder, is when you are looking out, like pretend you're at the ocean and you're looking out and where the ocean and the sky meet, that is a vanishing point because your eye cannot see any further. So we're creating two vanishing points on either side of this paper. You have to imagine those vanishing points are gonna go out um, infinitely. So we're gonna start by um, putting a point right in the middle of the paper on one side. You do not have to measure it, just eyeball it. And my point right here is probably larger than it needs to be and it's definitely darker. You wanna remember on this that you want your lines to be as light as possible because you will be erasing. So keep your lines light. Mine are going to be dark so you can see them on the video. I'm gonna kind of follow my dot across the paper with my finger and put a second dot roughly in the same place. Again, it's not exact, it's okay, but it needs to be in that general area. A vanishing point can be high, it can be low. We're doing it in the middle because for the purposes of this particular project, that's what works best. Next, we're going to do our first vertical line, which is the line in the middle of our buildings, this line, okay? So that's just a vertical line. In order to keep my line straight, not just straight with the ruler, but parallel to the side of the paper, I line the top of my ruler up with my paper to keep it straight. I'm gonna go about two inches down and I'm gonna stop about two inches from the bottom so it looks something like that, okay? You can do it a little more, a little less. I actually think I'm gonna make that a tiny bit shorter, but that's what you wanna do. So some space at the bottom, some space at the top. We're actually ready to start the first building. So I'm gonna to go to the bottom of that line with my ruler and I'm gonna line the bottom of it up to one of my vanishing points. And I'm just gonna draw the line. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna line it up with my vanishing point and the bottom of my line. And I'm just gonna double check that this is showing up on the camera, yes. And out like that, and done, okay? Now, that's the bottom of our cityscape. We're gonna do the top of our first building, which is really the same step, except that we're not going to do a full line. So what I mean by that is, go to the top of that line, and just like we did a minute ago, I'm gonna line it up with this vanishing point, but I'm only gonna do a line that's maybe a couple inches like that because this is just the top. I don't need the full line. So I'm stopping right there and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side so that it looks like that. You can already see how this is looking like a building that's going to have form. We're gonna close this off. Really important on this is that these lines are not only straight with a ruler, but that they're also completely parallel to the side of the paper. Even a slight diagonal can throw this illusion off. So what I like to do again is line that ruler up with the top and that ensures that my line is very straight and is parallel to the side of my paper. There's our first building. All right, now we're just gonna keep building out and the steps are exactly the same for my next building, my next building, my next. I'm gonna keep going. So I'm gonna do a line can be shorter, can be taller. I'll do one that's shorter first, you can see it. So I'm gonna do it that way. And then just like I did on this other building, I'm gonna go from the top over to my vanishing point. And then from the top over to my vanishing point on the other side. And then down, just like we did before. Oops, I better do at the top so I keep it straight. There's this little space in between the two buildings, maybe it's an alley. And what I wanna do to make it look like I'm going into it is I'm gonna lay my ruler straight across and just make a little straight line like that. 
I'm going to keep building my um, buildings. I can do ones that are on top. So on this one, I'm going to do a line that's like just right on top. I'm going to do the same steps. I'm going to go over to my vanishing point and then over to my vanishing point, both sides. And now you can see that when I drop it down, it's going to go into building. So on this one, I'm actually gonna have it go into the building, but not through it. So stop there so that it looks like it's behind it. And this one, I'm actually gonna make, as I'm looking at it, I'm gonna make this line a tiny bit longer and you'll see why. Let's line that right back up. And then I'm just gonna drop it down this way so that it looks like it's a building behind um, the other buildings I've created. Okay, and I'm just gonna keep going. I can do some over here, same steps, line, out to my vanishing point on both sides, and I'm just gonna keep building. You can do as many as you want. Of course, the goal here is that you're trying to create a city. You're trying to create um, a scene. It could be a scene from you know your favorite book or from um, a show that you like. It could be, maybe you have a cartoon character you like and you wanna build it around that. It can be whatever you want. But what I'm gonna be looking for is that you are understanding how to use these vanishing points because this technique is something that you will use again and again. This paper is now, or this city, you have to think of now as being right side, left side, which of course, as you're watching on the video is reversing, but each of these is a side. So when I'm doing doors and windows, I have to also use the vanishing point. If I'm doing um, areas that are pointing this way, so like this guy is pointing that way, this, that way, this, that way. If it's this side, it's pointing to this vanishing point. Whatever flat side it's pointing towards, that is where my doors and windows are gonna connect. And here's what I mean by that. Since this flat side is pointing towards that vanishing point, when I'm doing a door, I'm lining it up on that vanishing point, I'm doing the top, and then my two lines are straight down. This is a pretty tall door, if I'm being honest, but we'll just make it work. If I wanna do windows, it's the same deal. I want to line it up with the vanishing point, for the bottom and for the top. And then the sides are just straight. You can't, um, for one point or one point or two point perspective, either one actually, you can't just draw for doors and windows like a square. So let's, let me just show you what that looks like. If I were just gonna wing it and do a square, you can see how that throws the illusion. That isn't keeping with the perspective. So every diagonal line has to go from one of the vanishing points. Um, the other thing that we drew was a sidewalk. And the way that you do that is that at the bottom point of the city, I'm gonna drop down about an inch and do a dot. And then I'm gonna line that dot up with my vanishing point on one side and go back. And my vanishing point on the other. And do the same thing. Now, um, window, or sorry, sidewalks are usually built with um, cement blocks like squares so i'm going to show you how to make the blocks staying within that illusion so for these this side i'm actually going to go to this vanishing point so this is the maybe the trickiest part it's not hard it just is a little awkward so i'm lining my uh ruler up over here with my vanishing point so i'm on this side and my hand is tapping and i'm going to line it up there and then on this side is where i'm drawing so i'm making sure i'm lined up going over here i'm going to do a line and without moving my ruler over here, I'm just holding it in place. I'm just gonna slide this down. Keeping it over here, slide it down. Keeping it over here, slide it down. That way you have your concrete blocks that are still staying within the dimension of two point perspective. So same deal on this guy. I'm gonna line it up over here, drawing here, hold it in place, slide it down. Hold it in place, slide it down. Hold it in place, slide it down. Now I have um, a sidewalk. A road, another thing that we worked on is that a road would have like the dotted lines where you would have two lanes. You're gonna line that up with that vanishing point and just do bump, bump, bump. Same on the other side, bump, bump, bump. You are gonna have the choice of doing um, either Sharpie 
um, and just keeping it black and white with the addition of color um, with pastels, which you'll see in the example slides, or you're gonna Sharpie this and do um, a watercolor background. Um, I would encourage you to look at the uh, slideshow of examples so that you have some ideas of what we're kind of shooting for for an end uh, product, end result. Um, I hope this helps. If you are homesick this week and you're getting this, um, and either you have questions or if you need supplies, this is large paper, it's 12 by 18. It might not be something you have at home. If you are sick this week and you need me to send some home to you, just send me an email and we'll see if we can get, get you to um, get a piece of that. And if you were gone today and you're coming tomorrow and you don't have these supplies at home, I'll get them to you tomorrow, but um, you might have big paper at home. It's, and it doesn't have to be super heavy, it just needs to be that larger size. I hope this helps. Email me with any questions. I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.